Welcome back to Uprise Tutorials. We're going to look at keratometry and refraction. The refraction group assimilates all refraction types into one area. The Uprise refraction group represents the most comprehensive refraction tool in the industry. With its product catalogs and detailed custom contact lens fields, I think we've raised the bar in a refraction group. I've really been looking forward to sharing refraction with you. So let's take a look and start by looking at the refraction group icons. At the top of the exam, we have Get Device Data. It displays for selection all the refraction data from your practiced interfaced equipment. For a list of Uprise equipment integrations, you can go to startyourupprise.com. If you don't find your instruments, don't worry, just contact Uprise Sales to inquire about integrating your technology. We're adding new ones all of the time. The refraction group icons are over here on the right. We start with the Get Device Data icon. When you select this icon, it's going to bring in the integrated data from the refraction for the refraction group. The second icon here is the history icon. It'll let you review and look at and scroll through any history of all refractions. Now when you actually have individual refractions, you'll also have a print icon for each individual Spectacle RX. This icon right here represents an icon to print all of the final prescriptions. So let's take a look at all the refraction types. We support 12 different refraction types and each type supports multiple refractions. I don't know what the limit is, but I can tell you I've loaded more than 12 refractions, so I think it's, gonna, I think it's got us covered. Multiple refractions are useful in many situations. For example, multiple manifest refractions could be used for dilated, technician refractions, doctor refractions, photopic, mesopic, and scotopic refractions, all labeled with their associated uses. And you can set these usage lists up in the practice management admin. And just look for the optical prescription usage list. So let's look at manifest refraction fields. We can see we've got the usage field up here, and this is required on optical prescription lab orders. So it's helpful if you'll go ahead and put in whatever your usage is up here. We'll put general purpose on this one. And again, this list is a user-defined list that comes with defaults. And this user-defined list you can also set up in the admin list groups. Again, it's going to come with the most common ones, but you certainly can add your own. And of course, we have uh, the sequence or the sphere, cylinder, axis fields, the prism fields, the add fields, distance vision, near vision, pinhole acuity, glare acuity, and of course the PDs for the right and left eyes. When you do want to add a, a refraction, it sequences as you might expect. So let's go with a minus 50, minus 50, axis 80. It's going to step over to the add. We'll put an add. Then it goes back to the left sphere, minus 50, minus 50, axis 40. And uh, then we've got the add at 250. Then we can go up to acuity, enter 2025. Next, it goes to the left eye, 2025. Next, it goes to both eyes, 2025 next, and it goes through the sequence of acuities in a logical manner. Glare acuity is something that's uh, very helpful, especially in the evaluation of cataracts, and we've got it right here. If you go ahead and put your PD in here, it's going to assist in the lab orders, and patients enjoy having it on their prescription as well. If you do have PRISM, you can put your PRISM values in here. And you can enter all of these things in through a quick slider bar or through the keyboard. If you want to look at a history of your fractions before or during it, you can hit the refraction button here and you can see a history of your refractions. And if you want to do a print for some reason, You've got a print icon right here where you can print this out. And of course, if you're happy with this prescription, you can simply copy it to the final RX. And again, assigning a, a general purpose usage to it. So here, and we have some icons here down in the lens product areas. We've got, uh, say, a progressive, and we can 
prescribe a category or a specific product if we like. If we prescribe a specific product, we can go through here and find the list of products that are in our catalog. Here we'll pick a comfort two and hats. And with the material, again, we can pick specific products. Let's do a photo gray extractive. And we can designate that as a recommendation or a prescription. We can add add-ons in the prescription if we would like. So let's do a Crizol Alizé UV. And we'll make that a prescription as opposed to a recommendation. These products, whenever they get pushed over to the lab order, are going to be able to be automatically selected in the lab order. What to do? One note about the special lab instructions and note fields. The special lab instructions will print on the lab order. The notes, on the other hand, will print on the prescription and the lab order. And if you want to copy this over to an alternate prescription, say for instance for an occupational progressive, we'll do that. And again, we're going to have a progressive here, a product type, and we're going to have an interview lens. And the material is going to be 1.5 clear. We'll make that a prescription and select done. And if you're in the exam and you're ready to go ahead and push the prescriptions to the optical before you sign the exam, you have the ability to do that in the Uprise EHR. Just go down to the bottom of the screen and you'll see in workflow here, the exam is currently in draft, which means it hasn't been signed. But let's say we're, ready to, we're not really ready to sign it, but we're ready for them to go ahead and get the prescriptions into optical. All you have to do is push RX ready. So now the prescriptions are already over in optical. And if you're ready to go ahead and send billing over, you can also hit ready for billing. So now both the prescription is ready in optical and the invoices are ready for billing. The only thing that's left to do is to sign the document. Now on the other hand, if it's still in draft mode and you're ready to do both of those and sign the document, all you have to do is sign the document. Because signing the document will take it out of draft mode, sign it, it'll also push the prescriptions RX ready and ready for billing all in one selection. So let's look at doing a new contact lens fit. Here we've got an example of a nearsighted with astigmatism patient and we've got the K's and the manifest refraction here. A really good workflow, especially for an initial fit, is to take your refraction and copy it to a contact lens trial. It'll take the sphere and cylinder and copy it into a new contact lens trial. If you already know what product you want to fit, for instance an AccuView Oasis for astigmatism, you would simply check the magnifying glass here and go ahead and select that from your practice management catalog. If on the other hand you're not sure what product you want to pick, you could simply narrow it down to soft torques and go look at everything that has a soft torque. Well, let's go ahead and fit them in an AccuView Oasis for astigmatism. We'll select the glass and we'll select that one. And if there's only one base curve and diameter, it'll automatically put that in the field. Same thing over here. And we can see everything's already populated there for you. So all you have to do is put your acuities in. And if the centration movement and alignment is okay, we can select all okay there. And if we have no rotation, we can select the rotations here. If we've got over refractions, we can put them in here. And if we want to go ahead and put the wearing schedule in, we can do that here. It'll be in the, it'll be in the final prescription. And let's say we're happy with that prescription, so all we have to do is copy that to final prescription. And in the order quantity, we can go ahead and put however many we want to order at the checkout or front desk or wherever you happen to order. So let's say we want to order two boxes and we want to authorize two more, six packs. And again, what you're going to see here, you have whatever products that are available in the Vision Web catalog available to you right here. So you can only prescribe products in the packages, in the packaging that's available. So we'll order two. We'll authorize two more, six packs, and we're done. So let's take the same patient coming in next year. 
and let's look at how we're going to enter their contact lens prescription. So here we can see that they're coming in with what we prescribed last year as a presenting RX, and we've, they're using some reading glasses over their contact lenses, and we've got the new manifest here. And so let's go ahead and copy that to a trial. And we can go, we can either just change the sphere powers here, or we can go do the over refraction. So let's go do an over refraction on it. And we've got a minus 50 here in each eye for 2020. And all we have to do now is simply copy the contact lens to final. And we've got our quantities correct up here. All the observations from the last fit are still here. We can make any adjustments that we need. And we have the wearing schedules all here. And that's all we need to do. So we're done. Now let's take the same case coming in the following year, complaining of discomfort with the contact lenses, and we're going to fit them in a new contact lens. So we can see here that they're coming in with their Acubi Oasis lenses, and uh, we can go ahead and make some observations about them, that the movement is none, and they're dislocating. And now we decided we want to refit them. So the easiest way to refit is to simply to take again the manifest prescription and copy that to the contact lens trial. And let's put them in a daily wear lens. So I'm not sure which daily wear lens I want to use. So we'll go soft torque and then we'll see what our options are here. So let's do the one day AccuView moist for astigmatism. And uh, so we've got that here. And let's just go ahead and move uh, that to the left eye. And so there we're using this copy to left button. We took all those parameters, moved to the left eye. The prescription's the same. And again, we like the fit. It's going five temporal and the right eye, five nasal on the left eye. And we've got uh, Plano over refractions. And we can put some acuities up there. And we'll go ahead and put their wearing schedule in here, daily and daily. And we're ready to copy that to final. And once again, we're done. Oops, let's put our quantities up here. Let's go ahead and order a couple of boxes and uh, authorize two more. Again, order two today, authorize two more, and we'll do 90 packs. Now we're done. So once again, let's take the same case coming in the next year. Patient decides wants to go back to gas perms. They worked much better. So let's see how the gas perm fitting tools work. Again, we go to the add. And uh, again, a good workflow actually would be to start with the manifest. So let's start with the manifest, copy that to the trial contact lens. And let's say we want to fit the right eye in a rigid sphere. And we want to fit the left eye in a rigid aspheric. Let's go to the rigid sphere down in here. And uh, let's see, we want to find out what products are available for a rigid sphere. So we can go down in here and see that rigid spheres are available in many different uh, materials. So in fact, we can see here on those materials that publish their specifications, I've got them actually indicated right in here in the name. So in this case, it's a fluorosilicone acrylate. It's got a 26 DK. It's got a wetting angle of 24 degrees, and it has a refractive index of 1.12. And those lenses that have specific gravities associated with it will even have that there as well. So let's choose a rigid sphere flossy for the right eye. Now all we need to do is add the color and the base curve and the diameter. And we've got the sphere. We're going to leave that sphere there. And let's dot the right eye. We can specify a number of different parameters up here. In fact, I think you'll find that in all of the gas perm uh, modalities we have any and all fields that you might need to fit that. So that we can even put different edge designs on the lens. We can put prism in the lens. We can put a heavy blend and we can even put a plasma coating on them. Now the left eye, let's decide to put the left patient in a rigid aspheric on the left eye. Let's see how that works. We're going to select rigid aspheric. Again, we're going to go look at products for rigid aspherics. And again, we can see here that we can put them in the aspheric 
Flosi, the same one, or we can select a different material. Let's put them in the same one. Again, we go down here and add the base curve, and some manufacturers on their ace fericities like their ace fericity value put in the base curve too, but this particular manufacturer likes to put it put in a separate aspheric field. So we'll put a, an A5. That's how this lab nomenclates it. It might be a 0.5 millimeter or whatever it is, but you would put it in right there. Enter the diameter. And if you want to put an edge design, so let's put a C in bevel. Let's thin that edge down just a little bit. And uh, we're going to put a medium blend on this aspheric. And we are going to plasma coat the lens. And again, we put the trial lenses on and we determine that the centration and movement and alignment is good on these base curves. So we can just select them all as normal. On the other hand, you can see how we can put that the lens drops or whatever here as necessary. And again, for toric gas berms, we've got a toric orientation facility as well. And so let's say that we like this fit. Uh, we like, we're going to over refract these. Let's fine tune it with an over refraction. We've got a minus a quarter on the right eye and we have a plus a quarter on the left eye. So let's just go ahead and copy that to final. And you can see the new powers are, are updated with the over refraction right here. And we have all the values that we need here to get this order going. All we need to do now is just select done. Now let's take a look at some of the other gas perm fitting fields, just so that you can see what's all is available. Uh, we can go down here and look at the rigid front torque, and we can see that we're going to have all the fields that we would need for a rigid front torque. On the left eye, let's do a rigid back torque, and again, you're going to see that we have all the fields available that we would need for a rigid back torque. Now, we can also have rigid bitorque fields, and there they are. And we have rigid aspheric fields that you saw earlier. We have rigid scleral fields that we have right here. And let's go to the rigid multifocals. We have a rigid multifocal right here with all the fields that you would need for a rigid multifocal sphere. Let's do a rigid multifocal torque and again you're going to have every single field that you would need for rigid multifocal torque. Even better, let's look at a rigid multifocal bitorque. Again, we've got all the fields that we need there for rigid multifocal bitorque. And then, of course, if we have an eye where we're uh, not going to be fitting a lens, we would put no lens. Or if we simply have an eye where we're not recording the data, we would put not recorded. Now, we also have a, so a soft custom field here, so that any perimeter that you might need on a soft, um, a soft custom fit would be here. So I think that we probably have the best contact lens refraction tool in the industry, giving us all the fields for all the contact lens type. And I'm pretty sure it is an industry first. I know I've been designing software for well over 20 years for gas perms, and the vendors have never really given us the resources to complete all the fields. So my hat's off to Rocky and the senior management team at VisionWeb for allowing us to have the resources to do a detailed refraction tool with all the fields necessary for all the contact lens type. So if you get a, a chance to drop them a note of thanks, you ought to do so because, again, I believe they've created an industry first in a Uprise EHR, the best dang refracting tool around. Again, thanks for joining us today, and I'll see you next time.